the New Deal comes to an end around 1938-1939. So the question has to be, how to do? Let's talk about its immediate results, its long-range results, and then critique it. As I said, 1939, the New Deal comes to an end. So how well did it do? Was the United States out of the Depression in 1939? The answer is no, it was not. Unemployment was still high. As many as 10 million Americans were still unemployed. And in fact, as I said before, the World War II spending is what got the United States out of the Depression. But think of it this way. What was the New Deal trying to do? It was trying to help the United States get out of the Depression, to survive the Depression, without radical change. Right? Think about what's going on in the, in the world. Germany and Italy are going fascist. Com and communism is rampant in so the Soviet Union. Right? Yet, the United States comes out of this depression, and is it fundamentally different than when it was before it? Of course not. FDR was trying to keep things as much as possible in terms of the same as possible. And the capitalistic system had been good for Roosevelt and his family. So the capitalistic system was preserved. Now, long-range results. Let's look at them economically, socially, and politically. We preserved and rejuvenated the capitalistic system. We went in, we took the system and we went to successes beyond anybody's imagination. Have you ever heard of Bill Gates or Steve Jobs? You could criticize the New Deal, but don't be ignorant. Look around you. The system is preserved. Now, was there more regulation in business? Of course. But the system was not fundamentally changed at all. The FDIC was a change, but it does not destroy private enterprise banking. In fact, it put confidence back into the banking system. In society, the New Deal made us more of a welfare state than ever before. And what's the chief long-range reform that did it? Social Security. We still have it. I'm sure you've been told that it's going broke. Well, I mean, you need to figure that out for yourself. You need to figure, you know, don't rely on me. You need to figure out whether or not our, our Social Security system is running out of money. However, the New Deal created the idea that we're all in this together and that we need to be concerned for the welfare of, say, old people, unemployed people, for example. So it made us something of a welfare state, but not much of one, but something of one. The political impact is really easy to understand. What happened to the federal government every time you have a crisis? Its power increases it. The Civil War did it. 9-11 did it. The New Deal and the New Deal and the Great Depression, no, no different in that regard. More power for the federal government, particularly more power for the president. And, and as a result, more power for the Democratic Party. The New Deal actually created a bunch of lifelong Democrats. The problem for the DNC today is that much of these Democrats are, are passing away. So let's move to criticizing or critiquing it, right? You can critique it from any point of view, like the conservative point of view, right? You could question the government about being too big, interfering with your lives too much, too expensive. You can argue that. And what had people talked about that welfare business? Well, people, what did people like Grover Cleveland, Herbert Hoover say about what would happen if you created a welfare state? It would destroy the morale of the people, and it would, it would basically stop working. Well, I don't know. You'll have to look around you to answer that one for yourself. But the point is, there is room for, criticize, for criticism. This is a standard line of conservatives today, that people would rather stand in welfare lines than earn an honest wage. Again, I don't know it. I'll leave you to research and decide. Now, what's the radical critique of New Deal? Well, this one's actually the easiest. Here, the radicals, socialists, had an opportunity to, to do something. And what did they do? Nothing. That's how the radicals critique. Remember, what FDR is trying to do to the capitalistic system? Save it, right? Yet the radicals, the socialists, did nothing. The liberal critique, well, the main thing you could say if you're a liberal is that he should have, FDR should have explained his reforms a little bit better. Point out that, yes, we're engaging in reforms, but they're meant to save the system. So don't let people say that liberalism is radical because it's not, and the radicals know it.